Hello, hello, welcome to story time. Tonight I wanted to read one of my very favorite authors. I love Jan Brett. I love the illustrations, I love the writing. So I kind of kind of aspired to be Jan Brett. So this is a story that I don't think I've ever read before called Honey, Honey, Lion. So we're gonna find out what that's all about. Jan Brett, Honey, Honey, Lion, and it's a story from Africa. In Africa, the honey guide and the honey badger are partners when it comes to honey. The little bird follows a bee to its hive, and then she leads the honey badger there to break it open with his big, strong claws. Together, they share the sweetness, and that is the way it has always been. Maybe this day, badger was hungrier than usual. Maybe he forgot about honey guide who showed him the way, or he could have been thinking, my strong claws do all the hard work. Whatever the reason, that day, Badger would not share. Uh-oh. Honey Guide scolded Badger, and Honey Guide looks to be a bird. Honey Guide scolded Badger as he waddled back to the jackalberry tree, his tummy almost touching the ground. She fussed and fumed as he tried to fit into his burrow. Finally, she called out for all the animals to hear. No fair, no fair. Soon, all the guinea hens were broadcasting the news. Honey Guide is in a major rage. But Badger didn't hear. He was sound asleep, smiling, snoring and hiccuping from his big meal. Grumph, Badger roared out. The loudest hiccup of all and its deep, low rumble gave Honey Guide an idea. The next morning, Badger woke up hungry. His flat tummy is a pancake. His tummy flat as a pancake. And that's when Honey Guy flew by, heading for the great gray baobab. Honey, 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 she grinned. The little bird zigzagged over its large roots. Pitter patter, Badger ran after her. Pitter patter. Honey Guy flew low across the water hole. Splish splash. Badger followed after her. Splish splash. Honey Guide glided to the top of a termite mound and bounced on one foot. Sprung. Badger scrambled to the top and bounced off. Sprung. These are animals we don't really get to see in Wisconsin, like warthogs and elephants. Honey Guide landed on a hollow log. It echoed as she stomped along. Boom, boom. Badger hurried to catch up. Boom, boom. There's some tricky hyenas. Next, Honey Guide flitted through a, a stand of papyrus. Tall, dry reeds waved back and forth. Clickety click. Badger traipsed along, muttering, Where is that honey? The papyrus rattled as he went by. Clickety click. Honey Guide led him through a field of golden bristle grass. Swish, swish. Badger huffed and puffed, but the thought of the delicious meal waiting for him kept him going. Swish, swish. By now, Badger was tired and wet, itchy and sore, but he didn't slow down because Honey Guide was just ahead of him. She flashed her wings, fanned her tail, and dove under an acacia tree. Badger charged in after her, singing triumphantly, Honey! Honey! Uh-oh, you're just going to flip this open. <gasps> Lion! Uh-oh. Lion! 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 Badger turned on his tail and ran. Swish, swish, through the grass, clickety-click, into the papyrus, boom, boom, over the hollow log. Sprung over the termite mound, splish, splash, across the water hole, pitter-patter over the baobab roots. I think he's going to catch them. 
Badger dashed into his burrow. Honey Guy cheered. In a flash, Badger was as far from the entrance as he could be. Right behind him was a lion's huge paw batting the air, but he could not reach him. And that's the closest any animal could be to an angry lion and live to tell the tale. That evening, Mongoose squeaked to Elephant, who trumpeted to Hippo, who bellowed to Warthog, who squealed to Bishop Bird, who piped to Hyena, who whooped to Zebra, who snorted to Giraffe, who was overheard by Guinea Hen, who bugled it far and wide. It was the Bush Telegraph, and it said, If Honey Guide leads you to a beehive, be sure and reward her, or next time she will lead you to a lion. So they had what was called a cooperative relationship in the animal world. Um, she would lead him to the honey, but she was too little to get it out, so she counted on the badger. She, she would find the honey, badger would dig it out with his claws, and they would share it. So when badger decided he was going to be kind of selfish and think, oh, I can do it all by myself, he found out he really couldn't. So she played a trick on him, and then that's when she led him to the lion. So thank goodness the lion did not get the honey badger. So once again, Jan Brett, Honey Honey Lion, and the illustrations in this are beautiful. Have a good night. We'll see you later.